Hi, I'm Habir Bhatia with Uni Studios at the SIC Tech Summit, and I have the pleasure to talk to Puneet Soni, the VP of Product Management of Google Mobility. Welcome. Thank you. So let's start with what brought you here today. Um, I think it was an incredible opportunity to talk to the SIC community. I think we, as I said earlier, I think the SIC tenets of you know purity and trying to make change in the world, um, and not just thinking about yourself, but about the society, they apply beautifully when you mesh it together with, m with mobility and where mobile is going and where technology is going. So how do we use all of that and take it to the next place? I thought it would be a nice place to be inspired and, and talk a little bit about that. Well, that's a very interesting way to bring these two thoughts together. So uh, if talking about you and your background, y you know, you've seen a lot, you've done a lot, and today you're really in the game-changing space. What, when you look back, what do you see as a theme? or wh How do you describe your experience? You know, I was just thinking about that the other day. I think there's a couple of things. First of all, I would say I've had what I would, when we started, probably a series of interesting second class experiences. Mobile, when mobile was really not existent in Google. You know, social, when social and Google didn't really mix. And if you think about Motorola, you know, it was down and out as a company at the point when Google acquired it. I think the big kind of the theme that goes across all of this is there are hidden gems and second class opportunities. You just need to know how to find them. And then people say, well, okay, so what if, how do I figure out what could actually have potential? I think the answer to that is it's usually in the people. So you look very carefully around and see what kind of people are you going to work with, what kind of work they're doing, and then it doesn't matter if it's a first class, high tier opportunity or something that could possibly you know, explode sometime. You go do that and you actually mostly end up doing very well. So if I could ask you about your space today, as a product manager, you're always creating, innovating. What about mobility and say Sikhi really inspires you to keep innovating and, and coming up with new ideas? You know, I think there's, uh, there's some very interesting things. If you think about Sikhism, you know, it hinges on the concept of identity. We are who we are. We look slightly different, and we are because that's a part of our identity. It also it has a lot to do with iteration about dialogue. We, we talk a lot with each other. We try to figure where, the, where our community needs to go and how it needs to go because we are different, because that's the way we are. If you think about mobile product management, it's the same thing, you know? Mobile product management is actually if every single person in this world would have a mobile phone, every one of them has an identity now. They're all connected to the internet. They have a voice and they can talk. And then if you think about product development, what a better way to do product development if I could constantly talk to my users, figure out what they like, what they don't like, and, and have this dialogue and build a better product. What better way for them to use the product if they could constantly use it and effect the change, whatever change they want to bring in the world. So I, I think mobile is much bigger than we think it is. It actually empowers people, gives them an identity, gives them an ability to change the world. And you know, by all that means, you get everything like fame, money, and all of that as a side effect. Oh, so it was a wonderful uh, analogy and comparison of how these go hand in hand. So today, your topic was around how mobility is changing everything. So in your in your discussion, can you share some of the you know the gems that the audience might have heard? Um, a few things. First of all, Android is ubiquitous. It's everywhere now. Um, when hardware and software gets commoditized, that's what Android has done, you're going to end up with the proliferation of devices. Those devices are going to actually go down in price because the differentiation between them is going to be marketing distribution and price of the device. So suddenly, you're going to see an explosion of low-cost internet-connected devices built on the Android operating system that are going to be in every single person's hands. So that's one generic trend to look out for. The second trend is when that happens, people will start moving into other areas. So this is not about phones anymore. Every single thing could actually be smarter. You know, I was saying in the panel also, look around you and look at every single thing, your clothes, your shoes, the table you have, the chair you're sitting on, the mattress that you sleep on, all of these are gonna be connected to the internet. If they are, will they become better? If so, how? And if you can figure that out, you have a company and an interesting product there. So I think that the proliferation of Android the creation of this, I what we call conventionally the Internet of Things, and the ability to actually put all of these together with the idea of a social graph and identity such that people can identify themselves using it, it's going to lead to some very interesting societal changes. Some would argue that there will be some privacy implications to these things. I would argue that that will actually bring about an extra evolution of companies which would take care of those problems. So that's pretty much the synopsis of, uh, of what we were saying in the, in the where mobility will grow. So 
let's say for those that are looking for an opportunity in this space, do you have some suggestions of what they might want to, in terms of a startup, or maybe as an entrepreneur in their own company, what they may want to consider as some of the opportunities, either in, it could be Android, it could be Apple, it could be in general, web-based, any thoughts on that? Yeah, um, look, I think the first thing is we should get out of the bubble we are in. So if you think about like the valley in general and you know specifically in the Bay Area and where we are, we, we operate un around a certain kind of people who have a certain kind of devices. The last vast majority of the world actually has low cost Android devices. So first of all, we should, as an entrepreneur, start picking up those devices and look at their capabilities and start figuring out what, what can I do? What will millions of people do when they have those capabilities in their hands? This is hard because we are not used to putting ourselves in those places, but that's where the world is going. So that's one thing to look at. The second thing to look at is look at you know Android operating system and where it is going and ask yourself how would every single thing, if it got smarter, where would it be? The third is if all of these things became smarter, they are collecting data. Where is the data being stored? Somebody is going to build a platform which will have all of this data across all of these different devices that are internet connected. That platform is going to be tremendously valuable. One could argue it's going to be some offshoot of Android. I don't know the answer to that, but it seems like there's an interesting uh, interesting story there also. And then the next generation of kind of social interactions. If you think about how we talk, this is a conversation we're talking with boys, you know, but we're all spending time like typing away at our phones. That's not natural to human beings. Now, as boys now interactions become much more common, as phones become always on in terms of the ability to listen, what would that mean in terms of user interaction? What changes will happen? So I think these are all very interesting problems to solve. The addition of human element to this contextually aware devices, millions of which are going to be in every single person's hand, is going to lead to a huge revolution. We're just at the cusp of it. And so my advice to any entrepreneur or anybody who actually wo wants to work in this particular space is look around what's happening in India, in Asia, in all of these places, and then go figure out how you're going to build a company on top of that revolution. Well, it was very enlightening for me to speak with you. Thank you so much for sharing your thoughts. You know, I think uh, people could have really benefited by being here, but I appreciate that you've shared these tidbits. I'm sure everyone can get some value, whether they're working for their own company or innovating on their own company's ideas. So thank you very much for being here.